Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about common monomial factoring. By the way, factoring is the reverse process of multiplying polynomials, in which you're trying to break down the given polynomial into factors. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, I have here two examples for us to understand how common monomial factoring works. Okay, so the first one is 8x squared plus 12x and the other example is 14a cubed b squared minus 8a squared b plus 6a. Yung key natin dito is yung prime factorization. Sir, bakit po sir? Because we need to find first the greatest common factor of these two terms. So let's start with 8x squared. 8x squared followed by 12x. So we need to find the prime factors of 8 and x squared. For the number 8, you need to start with 2 times 2 times 2. Because ito lang yung mga prime factors, ito yung prime factors natin kay 8. Okay, kasi 8 divided by 2 is 4. So meron pa tayong 4. And then 4 divided by 2 is 2. So meron tayong 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And then as for the x squared naman, we can factor out x squared as x times x. But we're not yet done, guys, eh? because we still need to find the prime factors of 12x. As for 12x, syempre, uh, we will start with number 12. I will start with 2. So I still have 6, kasi 2 times 6, which is 12. And then we can still factor out 6 as 2 times 3. So as you can see, 2 times 2 is 4 times 3. That will give you the answer of 12. And then for the variable, since x lang yan, times x ang meron tayo. Ngayon, paano natin madetermine, sir, ano po yung ating greatest common factor? Look at the given the prime factors of each term. As you can see, at least meron silang dalawang pairs na common, which is 2 and 2 for the numbers. And for the variable x, meron silang one pair na common yung variable x. Meaning, their GCF is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4. Okay, 4. And then for the variable x, that is x. Again, paano natin nakuha yung kanilang greatest common factor? Since meron tayong two pairs of common uh, prime factor na 2 at meron tayong variable, ang ginawa ko lang, I multiply this number to this number, which is 4, and then copy yung x. That's why this is our greatest common factor. After determining the greatest common factor, let's move on to this one. What we will do is we will divide. So let's put it in 4x. It's about 4x. We're trying to write now the answer. We have 4x. And bilangin mo lang kung ilang terms sa meron ka rito. We have prepare a parenthesis. And to get the, the terms inside the parentheses, you need to divide this by 4x. And also, this is to be divided by 4x. 8 divided by 4, that is 2. x squared over x is x. That is the quotient of this first term to be divided by 4x. Next, plus, because this one is positive, 12 divided by 4. That will give you the answer of 3. And as for the x variable, x divided by x is y. That's why wala na tayong variable. And this is the factor, or this is, these are the factors of the original given, 8x squared plus 12x. Now, sir, can we check whether our answer is correct? Yes. Using these factors, check lang natin na, you have 4x times 2x plus 3. Diba sabi ko nga sa inyo, um, factoring is the reverse process of multiplying. So, ito, we will, 
to, to check whether our answer is correct, we need to use distributive property by multiplying each term by 4x. So 4x times 2x, that is 8x squared. And then 4x times 3, that will give you the answer of 12x. As you can see, they are the same. That's why our answer is correct. So let's move on with item number 2. This one is quite long. We have three terms to factor out. We have 14a cubed b squared minus 8a squared b plus 6a. So we will start getting the greatest the factors of 14. a cubed b squared and 8a squared b. Tapos we have here 6a. For this one, ang pine factors ito, we will start with 2. 2 and times 7 to. Yeah. 2 times 7. For the variables naman, a times a times a because we have a cubed 3 times for b, b times b. Okay? For 8a squared naman, prime factors of 8 are 2 times 2 times 2, a times a, then b. For 6a, that is 2 times 3, and then the variable a. So we need to check an in common. So they have one common prime factor, which is 2. And then wala na dito, wala na. Okay. For the variable, we have common variable a. And wala na dito, tapos yung b hindi rin pwede. That's why the GCF or the greatest common factor of these terms is 2a. So ngayon, ang gagawin natin is we will write our factors this way. Kopyahin yung GCF, 2a, and then prepare ka ng parenthesis. All you need to do to get the other factor is to divide these terms by your GCF. Divided by 2a, divided by 2a, and then divided by 2a. So, 40 divided by 2 is 7. 8 cubed divided by a is a squared. And then copy b squared. And then negative divided by positive is negative. 8 divided by 2 is 4. a squared divided by a is a. And then copy the variable b. Plus, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then cancel out a because a over a is 1. That's why the correct or the factors of number 2 is 2a times 7a squared b squared minus 4ab plus 3. So I hope na you learned something from this video on how to use common monomial factoring in factoring polynomials. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!